Good afternoon and welcome to the area's only lifestyle program, PA Live. I'm Rachel Malik. Chris is off finishing up on location with our friends from St. Luke's for our next round of Your Health Live segments. We enjoy those every Wednesday, so he's putting in the work today. Hopefully he'll make it for later on in the show, but if not, I've got you covered and boy do we have a good show for you. I have a studio audience of sorts here, filled with performers and musical acts, and I'm excited to share those with you. And I'm excited to tell them about the Emmys that happened last night, because I already asked around and they haven't seen much. So I'm excited to tell you what's trending, what people are talking about online. Let's start with the fashion of last night's Emmy Awards. Sparkles swept the board. Last night was a party and the stars certainly dressed like it. It's glitter and sequins and metallics. Oh my. There's almost too many bedazzled beauties to name from last night's gold carpet at the Emmy Awards, but I do think a few stood out among the rest. First one I want to hit is Ella Purnell, who was nominated with the cast of Showtime's Yellow Jackets. She's in a Mew Mew gown, which is a Prada brand. It's this gorgeous powder blue shade with a hall her neck and a flattering cutout at the chest. The hair and makeup was absolute perfection, providing a 90s edge to this otherwise pretty simple silhouette. This is the kind of look to me that says, hey, I'm just getting started here on the fashion scene, on the red carpet scene. Don't count me out. and I'm going to stick with what I know and love. Also sticking with what she knows and loves, Lily James undeniably stole the show last night. She was nominated for her role as Pamela Anderson on Hulu's Pam and Tommy. She's another one to watch when it comes to impressive couture looks. Last night's gold carpet ensemble was as Versace as it gets. This classic chainmail draping elevated her take on the glitzy metallics of the night and social media was a buzz. The custom look complemented by that bronze goddess glam and auburn locks, plus understated gold jewelry that proves you don't have to overdo it to turn heads. Speaking of, number one, Zendaya, as predicted. Three things that didn't surprise us about Zendaya. One, she won outstanding lead actress in a drama series. Two, she wore Valentino, no surprise there. And three, she topped virtually all best dress lists online and at the water cooler. Everyone's talking about this gown. It is impeccable. E elegant corset bodice, chic bow detailing, peplum accent, ball gown, skirt, and that classically beautiful Bulgari jewelry, head to toe perfection. According to hairstylist Tony Medina, her glam was very much inspired by Grace Kelly. It's a classic silhouette complete with a satin headband that accented this old Hollywood glamour look perfectly. He's known for these retro hair looks and so it really was a good partnership for them last night. Also, really important to note here, her lead actress win last night makes her the first black woman to win that Emmy twice. Not only that, it makes her the youngest two-time winner of any Emmy in history. Congratulations are certainly in order there. As for other big winners, Abbott Elementary did very well. Out of their five nods, they won three, including Cheryl Lee Ralph for Outstanding Supporting Act Actress and Quinta Brunson for Outstanding Writing. As of late, wins for network, network television shows are kind of in few and far between. Streaming is king right now, and so this win and all of these nominations were significant. Cheryl Lee Ralph's was among some of the most memorable speeches of the night. After a lengthy pause we see here where she kind of composed herself amidst the shock and emotion of the win, Cheryl sang from her soul, belting the lyrics of Diane Reeves' song, Endangered Species, and the crowd went wild, you guys. Even her fellow nominees who lost the award couldn't get enough of this speech. It's definitely one that's going to go down in Emmy's history. So fun to watch. Ted Lasso was another big winner of the comedy crowd. Jason Sudeikis won Outstanding Lead Actor in a Comedy Series for the second year in a row. Also celebrating his second win, Brett Goldstein for Supporting Actor in a Comedy Series. MJ Delaney won for Outstanding Directing in a Comedy Series and one of the biggest awards of the night. Ted Lasso won for Outstanding Comedy Series overall. This was an impressive win. Again, sort of predicted, but still very well deserved. Look at that Ted Lasso speech. And grabbing Emmys also was um, White Lotus. We're looking at Jennifer Coolidge right now. They kind of swept in the limited anthology or movie category. She's stealing the show with her speech turned dance routine, and she's celebrating her win for Best Supporting Actress on that show. One of many wins for Mike White and the White Lotus team, really showing up for HBO last night at the Microsoft Theater. Definitely a memorable moment. Also, we got to talk Squid Game. This was significant because it's a not English show. You know, it's a non English show, a success. And I think a glimpse of the future of streaming, where language doesn't limit talent or drama. You know, you don't see this on the network shows. Television fans, I think, should be so excited about what this means for the future of television. It's a new frontier, and Squid Games proves how successful it can be just the beginning. There were so many things to cover. I loved watching the show last night. I loved watching the red carpet. And I love you guys for continuing that conversation with me. You know, I asked for you to, to send me your thoughts on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, and you did that, and I so, so appreciate it. So 
I'm already looking forward to the next award show, but even closer to, I'm, I'm looking forward to the rest of this show. Like I said, we have a really great show planned for you today. The NEPA Philharmonic is coming up after the break. You guys don't go anywhere.